let's take a look at data communication systems. A typical data communication system includes the following components, sender and receiver devices, modems or routers, and a communication medium like a channel. Before examining these components, you need to review some basic concepts in data communication. Bandwidth is the amount of data that can be transferred from one point to another in a certain time period, usually one second. Attenuation is the loss of power in a signal as it travels from the sending device to a receiving device. Data transmission channels are generally divided into two types, broadband and narrowband. Narrowband is a voice grade transmission channel capable of transmitting a maximum of 56,000 BPS, so only a limited amount of information can be transferred in a specified period of time. Before a communication link can be established between two devices, they must be synchronized, meaning that both devices must start and stop communicating at the same point. Not all internet connections require a modem. For example, wireless users connect via access points and satellite users use a satellite dish. When phone lines are used for internet connections, an analog modem is necessary to convert a computer's digital signal to analog signals that can be transferred over analog phone lines. Communication media or channels connect sender and receiver devices. They can be conducted, wired or guided, or radiated wireless. Conducted media provide a physical path along which signals are transmitted, including twisted pair copper cable, coaxial cable, and fiber optics. Radiated media uses an antenna for transmitting data through the air or water. Communication medium can be a point-to-point -point or a multi-point system.